Hey everyone, uh, John Ring, uh, Buddy Watch Walk Peer to Peer, and Jimmy Matthews, Buddy Watch Walk Peer to Peer. Uh, I still serve in the uh, 48th Infantry Brigade, uh, Georgia Army National Guard, and I just retired from the U.S. Army, 25 years. 25 years. Yep. He looks young, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. No, I'm old. I got gray hairs. <laughs> Well, uh, we're making this video, uh, we were asked to make this video by uh, uh, John and Becca. Uh, they were gracious enough to uh, let us stay in their home uh, while we were visiting uh, Midland, Texas. So, uh, you know, we just wanted to say thank you for their hospitality and basically everybody's hospitality, you know, on this trip. Uh, we've met a lot of amazing people, very supportive people, a lot of veterans, a lot of first responders. You know, a lot of people that understand why we're out here doing what we're doing. So we just want to say thank you to everybody for your support. Uh, it's a good opportunity. Um, we're going to put this out on our YouTube page as well. Me and Jimmy haven't done a, a YouTube video together. So uh, we're going we're gonna to throw this up there as well. Um, basically, this walk started for me. Uh, I believe uh, veterans helping veterans. You know, you know, while you serve, and I still serve, so I think it's really important for uh, me to help those who have served and uh, kind of lead and, and take that uh, uh, directive or that approach. And um, I was working with veterans, uh, mostly in the criminal justice system, veterans that weren't getting the proper treatment. They were kind of getting lost and forgotten about within the system. And so uh, there was a few situations um, along the way that really stood out to me and I, I, I tried to help those veterans and, and I did. And, um, but it made me dig deeper and, and see that, you know, veterans all over the country and, and especially where I'm from in a district that's got 76,000 veterans uh, in Georgia, uh, that there's veterans dealing with problems all over. Uh, I started this walk on October 1st, uh, Buddy Watch Walk Peer to Peer, Tybee Island, Georgia, 2,462 miles uh, to raise awareness to veteran issues such as uh, PTSD, TBI, MST, uh, homelessness, addiction, and basically everything that's leading veterans to commit suicide in our country at a horrific rate. And uh, I also linked up with an organization called Buddy Watch Incorporated, uh, founded by uh, Joe Coleman in Midway, Georgia, which is right off of Fort Stewart, home of the 3rd Infantry Division. Jimmy knows a little bit about the 3rd ID. Uh, Quite a bit. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I left and uh, I started this journey. I uh, had, you know, somebody with me, but uh, unfortunately he wasn't able to uh, keep going. Uh, he had to call it quits. But... Um, I made it. Um, I walked through Georgia with a few people coming out and being supportive, walking with me, but mostly by myself through Georgia, Alabama, and into Mississippi. When I was in Montgomery, Alabama, I uh, walked into the uh, state office, the American Legion, where we uh, picked up very good support uh, on this trek. Uh, they've been very supportive, but also a lot of other people along the way, you know, uh, fire departments, police departments, sheriff's departments, and just people uh, concerned about veterans issues and veterans so um, we are headed to Santa Monica California uh, we will be there on May 8th we have a schedule that is out on our social media which is buddy watch walk peer to peer you can also visit us online at www.buddywatchwalk.com and um, you know it's just been you know, it, we, we try to make it fun, but at times it's also been very depressing. You know, um, we've, we've heard stories from veterans, um, you know, their personal struggles, uh, you know, and Jimmy can relate to um, a lot of them. Uh, he can talk about that. But, um, you know, it's been depressing at times, and we've met with Gold Star families as well. Blue Star. Blue Star, and so it's... Um, we're going to keep this going. Uh, we're, we're not going to stop. You know, we're um, finishing the walk on May 8th, but we, we have bigger plans uh, to help as many veterans as possible. Uh, we have another walk planned after this on March 25th, 2021, Normandy, France to Berlin, Germany to uh, pay tribute to honor World War II veterans and also our allies to be included. Um, we're looking to turn the walk into a foundation. We're writing a book about this. 
and uh, eventually we want to have walks in every state in the country. So those are some of the things that we're working on. Um, and, you know, just take a look at everything. Take a look at our website, MOS Clothing. Uh, Jimmy uh, founded MOS Clothing. And, uh, you know, get a shirt. Uh, show your support. All right, here they are. Not the stomach. Get a yeah, shirt. yeah, yeah. Just a shirt. Just a shirt. <laughs> Uh, but Jimmy, would you like to talk about, you know, basically how you, you came on, stumbled upon me and how you uh, left, re uh, entered retirement and uh, decided to put your feet down instead of up? Well, yeah, I was, uh, like you said, I just retired uh, September 2019 and I was being an advocate for PTSD, addiction, MST uh, and all the things John was raising awareness to. And uh, I was online just doing some things and I ran across his page. So I reached out to him, told him I was inspired by what he was doing. And um, I told him I would like to join him along his walk once he got to Mississippi. So once he got to Mississippi, I went down and I joined him. And um, the walk at that point was kind of like therapeutic for me. And like I said, personal. So I decided to walk the rest of the trek with him to California and um, yeah here I am yeah here you are so let me ask you a question Jimmy did you ever think when you left El Paso because this is where you were uh, stationed at that you would go back to Mississippi and then walk back to El Paso <laughs> no I never thought that um, I was cussing and Cussing the highway out as I was driving away from El Paso, and I was saying, I'll never come back here again. And uh, here I am. Yes, here we are. And, uh, you know, like I said, we, we've met a lot of amazing people, and the support's been phenomenal. Uh, friends for life, family for life, you know. So, um, I don't know. I mean, if, if you have it in you and, and uh, you got the time, I would definitely recommend a, a walk across the country. Now we haven't we haven't finished it all yet, so uh, we'll we'll kind of let you know at the end if uh, we definitely recommend that. Uh, we have uh, we'll be stepping into uh, New Mexico on the 14th, and we will be in New Mexico for I believe six days. And on the 21st, we'll be stepping into Arizona. We'll be there for a little less than a month. Jimmy doesn't know this yet, but I did change the route a little bit because we need to go into Tombstone, Arizona. <laughs> and we got to go to the OK Corral. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it's a long 10, so we're staying on 10. But uh, our route actually took us through like state parks and through areas where there wasn't much. So uh, not a big change, it's just a change from here to Phoenix. But uh, I'll be working on that in the next few days. And uh, oh, and I have to mention uh, Mr. Willie. Uh, Mr. Willie, Mr. Willie uh, we met up with Mr. Willie and Brandy uh, in Van Horn, Texas. Uh, Mr. Willie, he's got a old bluebird bus, military bus. Makes military me feel like style. a yeah, it makes me feel like I'm going back out to the range or something like that. <laughs> uh, but uh, he he's uh, he came out and walked with us uh, a couple miles, and next day he reached out and said that he wanted to to follow us all the way to Santa Monica, California. So uh, we are honored and privilege to have him with us him and hooch Hooch. so um brandy and brandy so uh yes and brandy's been making some awesome videos for us music videos capturing uh some of the um i don't know the important memories of this trip for us so we're really thankful for that but uh you got anything you want to throw in there uh, we picked up a duck along the way. We don't. We haven't really uh, showed too much uh, ninja ducky lately. Yeah, he's been chilling lately. He's been relaxing. But we just want to thank everybody for coming out, uh, walking with us, showing us uh, support, um, just doing everything like lodging, donations for the tiny homes, donations for water, coming back along the route, passing us water. Gatorades, things of that nature, telling us their stories. Uh, their stories are very important because it keep us motivated to continue on and um, understanding their struggles and their issues that they're having. Um, 
and they're also the good parts as well uh, that they're dealing with the EVA and things of that nature. Uh, the families that are coming out and supporting us because their son, daughters, cousins, niece, nephews are serving, continue to serve. It's not just um, veterans, also uh, active duty members that are serving that are also struggling. Um, we appreciate them coming out and telling us their stories. I agree. Well, we're going to cut this short because I think we were asked for two minutes and I think we're up to ten. So, uh, sorry to take up an extra eight minutes of your time, but uh, www.buddywatchwalk.com. Visit us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. Uh, you know, please help out if you can with donations. If you have, uh, we have a schedule on our Facebook that's posted there. Uh, please disregard the uh Part New Mexico into Phoenix. We're going to make a few changes there, but nothing big. And uh, sorry, Lynette, you don't know about that yet, but I'll call you tomorrow. Um, but yes, thank you for your support. We appreciate everything. And uh, if you're on our path, we look forward to meeting you.